approval from BYUI mm -hmm. because we're going to have test subjects and we're going to have to do a survey. Right. Right. That takes like at least a week to get. And there's only like a week well, left. I heard. What about like. That is only took that long because like some the people. Beta equals zero, beta doesn't equal zero. Like as a hypothesis, and we do like uh, batting averages because I know that was part of our assignment, right? Like in the very beginning. We compare day, day to night, and see um, who has the better batting averages. I mean, but I, I'll, Fonz would have to collect the data on that. Uh, or just like revenue, you know, for a couple of years of the teams, we'll be able to use that. Um, just for just like some certain players, certain players off of certain amount of teams, and then we just compare them, you know, five teams, five players, and I don't. I mean, I'm not sure how we have to go about this. Well, we have to make sure it's something we can end one of the. Please. How, uh, how long is the extension that he gave us? I don't know. He just told me to email him. So. Oh, he's the email. Uh, I can so class over over email. <laughs> well, the better. I mean, the sooner the better, probably. Just like the problem I came up with is like, for all these things we want to do without surveying people. Like, we I think we'd run into the same be better. problem. We'd run into the same problems that we did with the baptismal data. Like everybody's already done these studies since we'd be pulling these numbers from somewhere. Like, well, maybe know, we should know. do a survey, think up some questions, and then try and get that approved. And then each of us go out in our own area. You know, it'd be stratified. You know, we're, we're just we each have a Walmart in our town. We all go to Walmart. Or, uh, I don't know if Alphonse has a Walmart where he's at. I don't have a car, so. Oh, okay. Or the shuttle. The, you could take the shuttle. Yeah, I guess. Uh, good question. Uh, my name is Ed Ganell, and I am a student at BYU Idaho, and we are doing a survey, and what we're trying to figure out is, or trying, the data we're trying to find is looking at baptisms broken down, either you know, we can get like a couple of different missions or broken down like by geographic area. Um, of, of the you know, of the churches like North America, South America, so on and so forth. So I would, that's that's what we're looking for. I don't know if it's possible, and, and this is the first number I found. Yeah. Well, let's give it a whirl. We don't know until we try, so. Thank you, ma'am. I'm on hold. Oh. I'm calling the no, church. You, right just, <laughs> you just might have thought about the simple situation. Make sure you let them know you're not representing BYU that you're a student. Yeah. 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 Hey, while I'm on hold, let me ask you guys on the the homework quiz, not the not the group thing, but just the regular homework quiz. Can you guys let me know what you got for questions one and two? I mean, three and four? The, oh, wait, uh, wait, homework. Yeah, yeah the regular homework, for last week. old faithful oh. thing. For last week? No, this this week. Oh, I haven't done my homework yet. Okay. My homework quiz. So 22, right? 23. 23? Yeah. Homework quiz. I swear I got them right. You know, I did the, you know, the Excel thing, type the numbers in, and I got, I got a couple of the other numbers right. So I kind of wonder if I'm missing one and two. I mean, it's just plug it in and it tells it right on the sheet. Yeah, I normally don't do the homework until after the group uh, Okay. 
I appreciate your help. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Ed Gannell. I'm a student at BYU Idaho, and we are taking a statistics class, and we're doing a project, and we're having a hard time finding some information online that we're looking for. Um, I talked to somebody, and they transferred me over to you. So, but uh, what we are trying to find out is, you know, the on the church website we can get the number of baptisms you know, per year, but it's just for the whole church. We are wondering, is it possible to somehow get a breakdown of like kind of a Maybe like by a geographic area, like in you know, North America had this many, South America had this many, you know, Asia had this many, Europe had this many, and get that broken down for the last couple of years. Does that info exist, or do you know? Okay. Just the last couple of years, like the last five, six years, what we're looking for. You know, even if we like, you know, yeah, fifteen and went back a couple of years. I mean, it's only seventeen, so we are missing just sixteen and seventeen. If we can get through the fifteen numbers. Okay, thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. To speak with somebody in the statistical department or maybe like membership in the statistical department. Thank you. Sweet Hour Prayer is the holy music. Oh, nice. <laughs> and you wouldn't think it'd be this hard to get a hold of this information, but I was like surprised when I tried to look it up. I could not find it anywhere. Well, the lady I talked to a second ago, and she referred me to a different department. She said, yeah, that member, that stuff definitely used to exist in what's called like a church almanac. But she says they think they stopped publishing that in 2015. But even if we had like, you know, 12, 13, 14, 15, Oh, I, I did see some mentions of that, but it was oh, even before that. Yeah, is this the uh, membership and statistical department? All right, well, my, sure, well, not mine specifically. Uh, my name is Ed Gannell. I am a student at UAU Idaho, and we are in a statistics class um, and we're trying to do a group project we have and what the information we're trying to find is if we can get some kind of breakdown on the number of baptisms that the church had say like by geographic area or you know, like North America, South America, Asia, Europe, something along those lines the last couple of years. 
Um, you know, we can find the total numbers, but we can't. We're, we're trying to find a little bit of a breakdown so we can kind of compare one area to another and run some statistical analysis. And we're having a hard time finding that information or finding somebody at headquarters that knows where to find that information. That's what we're looking for. Would you be able to help me out with that, or do you know someone who could? Yeah, see, so I've talked to a couple of people, and they, they think there's a department specifically called statistics or membership in statistics. That's the department that I'm trying to get a hold of. All right, thank you. Transferring you again. I have violins playing now. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it could work by country, but Brother Polson suggested like 20 different missions from 2012 to 2016. Get like a certain number of yeah, missions or countries. I, I'm almost wondering if it'd, be, if it'd be easier just to get it by area versus trying to get randomly pick 20 different missions. Right. Maybe by country or something. Yeah, you know, country or geographic area or something along those lines. Just like, if it was just continent, we'd just have like six uh, test statistics. Well, I'm you guys want to go ahead and go through the uh, quiz. <laughs> You're going to have the... Uh... Yeah, I guess. All right. I don't know how long I'll be on hold here, so... All right. All right. Just give us a signal if the guy comes back on the phone. Yeah. Or something. All right. Uh, question number three is the third choice. Did you hit record? Yeah, I've already hit record. In fact, I've been recording all of this. Oh, nice okay. Long, nice long one to make up for the short ones. Um, nice. So on the uh, question three, the third choice. Mm -hmm. Question four, the third choice. Question five, the first choice. Yeah. Question six, I think it's the first choice, and I'm not sure. Yeah, six is the first choice. Okay. Uh, question seven, the second choice. Mm -hmm. Question eight, I'll be honest, I'm clueless. I don't know. Oh, because I'm clueless on this one too. I guessed, um, I guessed one, three, and five, and it just came up as zero points. Oh, that's what I guessed the first time. One, three, and five? Yeah, one, three, and five. Yeah, we just we just may yeah. not have to forego the point oh. on that one. Um, I'm pretty sure they're normally distributed as one of them because that was like a previous question or the previous question. Yeah, so the third one we know for sure. Um, Any ideas, Daniel? No, oh, shoot, we lost him. Dang it. All right, well, let's go to heat review and then we can come back to that one. Number nine, I got uh, 12.695. Yep. Number 10, I got 10.674. Mm -hmm. Number 11, I got 14.715. 
Number 12, I got the one, two, third choice. Yep. Number uh, 13, the last choice. Same. Number 14 is body length. Mm -hmm. Number 15, I got wrong. It's uh, 0.443. Right, hang on, I'm going to pull up the chart here, 0.4. Okay, does that calculate it in a box, or did you have to do some other formula to calculate it? Um, I just subtracted the difference between the uh, um, Oh yeah, I just calculated the difference between the confidence interval, like halfway be uh, between the two confidence intervals. Okay. So the, like the next two questions, they give you a seat, uh, right. total bound 7.218. Okay. Um, okay, please go ahead. Okay. Okay. Eight five five two four zero one four seven seven. Thank you very much for your help. Have a good evening. Goodbye. Okay, thanks for your patience there, Josh. Okay, so we got the uh, hang on. Ah, we got the right window here. Okay, so. So the margin of error, you said you took the difference between the, the confidence levels? Yeah. Uh, right, just halfway between the confidence intervals. Or I mean, I guess the difference between the slope and either bound. So halfway between. Or the difference okay. between the half. Well, between. Well, Does that make sense? Yeah. So the slope is 7.660. Okay, I got that. And then the distance between the slope and the upper and lower confidence interval. Okay, so which and this is the thing that's tripped me up on these. You got you got the y, you got the top confidence and the bottom confidence. So it's, I think we're looking at the bottom one, right? The seven point two one eight, eight point one, eight one one oh three. Yeah. Okay, so I I'm sorry to be stupid, I just could not figure this out. That's okay. Did you did you get what I said though? Right, not quite. So go over. So okay. So we got this. I, I got the number. I got the seven point six six zero, and I got the seven two one eight and the eight one zero three. How did you do the right. formula? Right. So it's just the slope. The slope is seven point six six zero. Okay. And the difference between the slope and the two confidence intervals because it's the same distance. So like 8.103, the upper bound minus the slope is 0.443. And then 0.443 is the, is the answer to the question, correct? Correct. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me get back to that. Let me windows open here. Where is my quiz? Uh, it's not that one. Here we go. Can be heard. Oh, I hear you. They gave me a different number to call. Dang, Nabbit. Hang on. I'm sorry. I got to find the. I got so many windows open here. I can't find my quiz. Okay, the answer is point four four three. Point four four three, Josh. Point four four three. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think that was one of the questions I had on the uh, the regular homework that I could figure out. Okay. Um, okay. So then for sixteen and seventeen, we just talked about those seven two one eight and eight one zero three, and then eighteen. Of course, I got it wrong. I guess the second choice. I'm guessing. You put the first. second. One. Yeah. That's what I put. You put the second one. So. I did. Well, I mean, we, we know the P level is like a gazillion, you know, point. Because all the other, yeah, all the other quizzes, when I guess it's the where that that amount confident, it says it's wrong, and then it says the it's the that amount of chance, the chance, and it says it's the confidence. 
Uh, keep changing the wording. Based on your lower, based on your lower round, upper round, and last round, what can you say about V1? Uh, I guess it's got to be number one then. Well, I guess the second okay. one also. All right. Let's see if I've got. What did you think it was, uh, Daniel, for number eighteen? Daniel, can you hear us? Hello? Uh, I see you, but I don't... I can't hear you. The screen just went blank. There he's back. All right, I'm going to go ahead and submit mine. And... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We didn't uh, finish the... Uh... The question. Uh, oh, that's question right. eight. Dang it. Did, was it too late? Yeah, I just hit submit. I forgot about that. Oh, oh well, <sighs> I got, I got everything right with that one. In fact, all I had down, I had down the third choice because we thought that one was correct, but it, it still says zero out of one. I think it's one of those you got to get, you got to get exactly okay. right. Hey, can you hear us? Can you hear me? Yeah, there, now we can hear you. Now we're okay. we're stuck on number eight. So uh, the first time that Josh and I took it, we both guessed the first, third, and fifth, and we we both got it got it wrong. So I, I did it guessing it, it, the third only and got it wrong. I skipped that one. It was there's too much checking. Stress myself. Get the margin of error. Uh, yeah, that question. Um, yeah, in fact, I had a Josh help me. It's point four four three. So easiest way to find that: take your upper bound, which is. Uh, 8.103, and then subtract your slope of, ah, uh, should be lost, Josh. Dang. Uh, I got eight wrong again. What did you guess anyway, this next time? I put everything but the second choice. <laughs> I had no idea. I don't either. All right. Hey, do you have me, uh, Hang on one second, I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry, it was just a package. I had a, I had a client going to drop off some signed forms to me tonight. I thought it might have been them. All righty. All right. Hey, you want me to call that other number real quick and see if Yeah. We yeah, I mean, we got to figure this out. Otherwise, we're just going to have to see if we can get the survey approved by the school. Because that just seems like, as as far as collecting the data, it'd just be much easier since I have a couple of the examples to look for or look at. But if we can get this, then that'll be good. <laughs> Hope I dial the number wrong because it's something about Medicare plans. Oh. Nope, I dialed it right. I wonder if it's 885, I 855. I even read the number back to him. He said I had it right. Huh. Not that doesn't do anything. All right, let's call up the church headquarters again. Oh, yay. Oh, gosh. We got the main switchboard number instead of public affairs.
trying to get a hold of somebody in the statistics department. I keep getting bounced all over the place. Hopefully, I'll get through to them this time. Thank you. Josh, my name is Ed Gunnell. I'm a student at BYU-Idaho. I am trying to get a hold of somebody in the statistics department, and I keep getting bounced to every department but them. It may also be referred to as membership in statistics. I'm trying to, what uh, we're doing, uh, so I'm a student at BYU, and we're doing a uh, statistics class, and we're trying to get some information on baptisms, broken down by geographic area of the church for the last couple of years, so like you know, North America, South America, Asia, Europe, so on and so forth. And you know, it, you can get the um, the total numbers on the online, or you can't find the online a breakdown, you know, some, some geographic breakdowns. That's what we're trying to call you guys to see if it exists. In fact, usually something called like the oh shoot, what was it called like the Church Almanac. Church Almanac. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, like a, a at the last I heard, that was published in 2015 that had information like that. So that's what we're looking for, and, and but nobody seems to be able to get me to, in contact with the people in, this, in the statistics department that have that information. Thank you very much.
still on hold, guys. Yeah. yeah. I'm still I'm trying still to look. Trying I, to look at... I'm even finding I'm old finding pieces of the Omnac, the but they don't ever you know, contact back to the bodies. They just give total membership. And they're all before 2010. Yeah, that data's not going to do us any good. Mm -hmm. well, I read his comments, but I didn't. Where are we going to find it? It's not like the earnings per share for, for like the, that you can find on Google. Like you can get like five years of different companies earning earnings per share and try to fit into the how would the study for that go? That's, I have no idea, but you probably have to look into it. So if you go to Yahoo, you can. Because I mean, unless we. We're trying to answer a research question like it's another thing that we can just look it up and then it's not. It's like the same problem with our first study. Just gives us the info, and we're not really. Yeah, or how, how would we do a survey then to get people? But what would we ask them? Like you were saying, something about men and women. Well, that's what I was saying. Like we could see that they spend more per dollar that they make, or, or we could see like, like I like the confidence interval thing because that was like something that clearly like we had to go out and ask. Okay, like, or we could see like. On a you scale of like one to five, or yeah, or we, could, we could be like on a scale of one to five, like. And you how... can get all the information from a florist up on campus at the crossroads, and see yeah. who spends more. Like, and you don't even you do that. We could do something like that, or, or we can just yeah. ask him like, on a scale of one to five, like, you think your day is going to be a good day today, and then like our study could be like. Which gender is more optimistic, or like you said, like which gender spends more money? Or there, there's like there's there's like a bunch of places over there in Rexburg to buy a burger. Right. You can go to the Paragon to like hospital. You can go to that the Wingers, or you can go to like Freddy's, or there's like two bird two McDonald's, a Burger King. Like I said, I, I don't have a car, so I can't yeah. go to most of these so places. We could ask them. Well, just to make it easy, why couldn't we do I mean, one of those? Like here, spend, set it up, uh, and hire that survey monkey website thing and to set up a survey and you, know, you just post it on Facebook to all your friends because we need about at least 30 surveys. At least. But that's kind of iffy because the Qualtrics you don't get. Like, I never answer those. Uh. Well, so that's why I post it on Facebook, you know, for all my friends and say, hey guys, help me out here. I'm taking that statistics class and I need the, we're doing a, a survey. I need you to spare me 60 seconds and answer five questions or something like that. Would we, like, would we only need to fill out one of those uh, applications if we're doing the study on the your campus or just like? Yeah, with people, I believe it, like we'd have to get it approved from what I read. Like, Either way. I uh, see what you're saying there, Josh. Let me see if I can find the... Uh, if we I, get a survey, we have to have the teacher approve the questions. I have then... it up here. Um, when you've obtained your instructor signature at 15, you are required to register your projects with the university's Human Subjects Board.
I have the registration form pulled up. Yeah, I've got it. You're looking at it too. So yeah, if we do a survey, we have to attach a draft to the survey along with the proposal to the teacher. He'll approve it, and then we've got to just register it online. We can do the average of something. And yeah, if we're using human subjects either way, on campus or off campus, we have to. Submit this. Who earns more, men, when, or men or women? Like, if we go around and survey down outside somewhere. I don't see how that would work since we're spread out across different places. Well, like I said, like I can do it. I mean, I can just go to campus and I'd do it fairly easily for whatever we decide, but it's just we'd have to yeah, cause get this approved. So should we try to change it? Like who's going to eat out more? Or like wh wh how are you putting that men and women? Well, I was just throwing out suggestions. Mm. Like, well, that sounds good you, because, we, you know, because that's part of the, it's, Easier. Yeah, we could we could do like well, I mean, some people are iffy about like telling random people like how much they make an hour. Maybe I don't know. But. Yeah, because if I I'm sure if if they get more money from their parents, they're gonna go spend more, or who saves money or who eats out, and like, what do they eat out? Like Chinese. The simpler, the simpler we can make this. Little better. Caesars. Yeah. It's just organizing the data, pulling it in from. Like, I mean, if we could even do something as simple as like find out which gender is more optimistic and be like on a scale of one to five, like how good do you think your day is going to be today? something like you know it just doesn't doesn't have to be super complicated yeah because i know when i was when i was up there they they were doing they were weighing backpacks and they wanted to they were like just randomly picking people out that walked by yeah. outside the library and they were like well can we weigh your backpack and they were like weighing everyone's backpack like so i think they were comparing who who has heavier backpacks on campus men like the guys or the girls. Yeah. Probably just got like 30 samples, you know? Uh-huh. How are they weighing backpacks? Do they have like a bathroom scale? Mm, I think it was like one of the weight scales or something. Maybe a oh. weight, weight scale, bathroom scale. So Daniel, are you on campus? I came uh, I was up there for like two years. I did most of my business classes up there. Yeah. Okay. I worked at the donut shop. Uh, my boss called me. He wanted, wanted to know if I was going to go back for the winter. I was like, oh, no, I'm staying Wait. back in Washington. Where did I start it? Seriously. He was a... Uh, yeah, he was going to fund me. He was going to help me get a, a business over here in Washington. And so he was like an angel investor, like or like a VC. He, he said something like he was in a, like up to $300,000. He was going to help me get myself. Okay. That's pretty cool. I got a pretty nice donuts a couple of times this semester. I live in La Jolla. Yeah. So it's like red. Oh, yeah. We, we give them like little cards and stuff. But, but, They had some trouble though, didn't they, with uh, with the camera incident in the bathroom? I think. Oh yes, actually, there. that was my uh, that was my FHC sister's apartment. Oh, really? That semester. Yeah, that was Dang. that was rough. Yeah, I, heard, I read about it and heard about it mm -hmm. too, and I was like, it's not good. 
Yeah, that was that was not at North at North Point. I heard about this one guy who would break into the girl, went into like the, the girls' apartments, and he would like, uh, like ejaculate on the on the beds and stuff, and leave like their underwear out. Cameras, okay. And they wouldn't. They didn't catch him. So. It that's was, uh, that's weird. Yeah, it's creepy. And that chick that strangled her boyfriend in another apartment. crazy yeah just makes you think about what the other college campuses in the world are like oh no <laughs> like, I, I wouldn't even want to know this guy remembers to put me on hold uh, he said did you forgive me as you're looking that diligently the page you're looking for cannot be found. Yeah, it's like they this these numbers got like sucked into oblivion. But yeah, if we did the earnings per share, we just couldn't do it across different like industries. We'd have, we'd have to do it within the same industry. Um, we just have to pick an industry, you know, figure out. I don't know. I, but if you we do a survey, survey is good. We like I'm hoping, since most people probably have already gotten their stuff approved, like it just wouldn't take very long for us to get a survey approved. But who knows? Yeah. Okay, let's run with it. And like, what do we want to ask people? Unbelievable. Do we want? We don't want, do we want to go off their income? What they say? Ed? I it disconnected on me. Oh my gosh! <sighs> Should we just try to go for the survey route and fill in the fill in the paper and just yeah, start over? We, it's a uh, every survey should be like or like a yes or no question, so we can make a graph. Like a pie chart, or like a part partho chart, you know, to compare them. Like, what were you saying there? We're gonna have to need we need those. Um, I hate this. Okay, there. It's only twenty after four Utah time. They're gonna be in for another forty minutes. I can keep calling back and keep trying. You can keep trying a little bit longer. I can shoot you guys an email in a little bit, let you know if I was able to get through or not. Okay. But I love the okay. idea. That in theory, you know, if, if we could find the numbers, you know, in my opinion, the 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 uh, my ultimate hypothesis is that the area that lost the most in baptism would be North America because Americans are a bunch of immature punks compared to the rest of the world. So. Oh, you'd be surprised. I've heard stories. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I just, it'd be interesting to see, though, that kind of, uh, are there uh, certain... My, one of my buddies only was in this Salt Lake mission. He, he only baptized one person. So to try to uh, follow the their track record is, is kind of rough. So, I mean, yeah, Ed, you can try again for the 40 minutes, but should we go ahead and develop, like, a backup survey thing and just, like, submit... <coughs> Submit yeah, the well, survey in case, can, like, you can't find it. If I can't find out in the next 40 do you minutes. Want, do you want to start a Google Docs and then uh, share <clears> it <throat> with us? And then we'll we'll work on it and add questions to it. And we can comment on each other on it. Wait, well, we would need to then, turn in the survey paper again. That's not a Google Doc, is it? Uh, I think that's a Word document that was just shared. No, it's, it's directly online. It's through the BYU website. Oh, the, the survey? The registration. But, okay, so if we do a survey, we're not going to do Qualtrics, right? Because that would probably take forever. Or are we going to do set one of those up as well? Because I don't know how to no, set I, that survey. No, I but. think it'd definitely be simpler. Uh, okay, and there's like two weeks, right, of school. We have this week, the weekend, yeah, oh boy. next weekend, next weekend. I mean, in theory, if we get it approved, like, 
it actually would not, it would like, I could do it in like a, less than yeah. an hour actually writing up it, yeah. the data stuff. I'll tell you what, can you guys, can you give me 40 minutes and see if I can find the info and if I can't, then we'll go with your, I like your idea. Just, it'd be nice if I could, we could just take a look right. what we have. Right. So, all right. So, give me 40 minutes. I, and I'll, shoot, I'll shoot you guys an email and if that doesn't work, then we'll go with the, with, with idea number two. Should we come up with idea number two though? Like, I don't, I don't want to spend an hour like trying to get that through email. Like, out of, out of the yeah, questions, okay. so men, men and women. Um, yeah, you guys want to out the most. You want to chat again later tonight? Uh, uh, I'm going to a concert. Okay. I have to go to. No, I understand that. Uh, what sure, about uh, which is scheduled tomorrow? Oh. Um. I guess I could add a class at 4.15, but I... Probably like 15 minute walk home and stuff, so like five. You gotta keep that lower because we could hear it off there. Oh, okay. Kind of people kind of test too, so. Oh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? I think I got kicked out of the library. Oh, why? I'm too loud. Oh. Rebel. <laughs> Public library. Then there's, there's no second floor or statue. You can't take a picture. So we could do we could do hair to this, boys and girls. Let's do let's do confidence. I think that'd be easy. So what's the question like? If we asked a question, it'd be like, how confident are you, or on a scale of one to five? We need a hypothesis first. Um, so. so I guess the hypothesis would be that, you know, we're all humans and everybody should have equal confidence and the alternate could be men and women have different outlooks on life and have different men. That's our alternate. Equal. Yeah, so we could do like... Men spend as much, the guys spend as much money as women per month. Are men and women... Okay, we could do that, like how much do you spend a month or we men, could do... Men and women don't spend as much money per month. We could do how confident are you on a scale of one to five, or we could do how optimistic are you on a scale of one to five? If we were like, which gender is more optimistic? You know, it just could be anything. What are you guys thinking? Uh, Daniel, you want to do the yeah, money? No, how much money is spent? Them. Yeah, if you want, but how many questions do we need? Like five? No, we only need one question. We need like at least one question. No, we only need one question. You the rows, that? like the two columns, would just be a guy column, girl oh, column, and then, and then for it, every subject. It would be the just keep like on a scale of one to five. Okay. One question. How optimistic are you about your spending throughout the week? Well it doesn't one have five. to be spending. Okay. It could be just how in general, like you, happiness. How optimistic are you or, about taking a death? Or it could be how confident are you on a scale of one to five? Yeah. How confident are you about what? Because they're sending one out right now about the gym. How many times a week do you work out? Um, s school. I don't know anything. Yeah, because there's a lot of uh, people that go to the gym in the heart. Or how season. confident? Or how confident are you going to be? Do you think this day is going to be a good day? Or something. I don't, I don't know. Oh, we could do. Oh, we could do. How confident do you, are you? Are uh, are you about your finals coming up? On a scale of one to five, what about that? Uh, I'm about. Like, and the only problem is I, I don't have a lot of people I can ask that question to because. Right, I could do it. Okay. I mean, like, I just, I just want to come up with the study that, like, we know will will work and fit into like one of the categories. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna. You, know, back, back. you want to send that question out? Well, this is this is if uh, Ed can't get his. If okay, Ed's sorry. if Ed's fault, if it's out there. Okay, should we do that, Ed? Like, you email us later if you can get your numbers, and then if not, I'll email. I mean, whatever, I'll email the professor. But then, 
That'll work. Know, like if this is okay as like a study, as a survey, see if there's any problems with it. That'll work. Okay, and then just and I can I can rewrite both the part of it if he wants us to. I think he will. So could we? Should we do that though? Like how on a scale of one to five, how confident are you about doing well on your finals? That'll work. That'll work. Yeah. That'll work. See sure. Good point. Yeah. yeah. Would be guys and girls are equal, and then one's more confident than the other academically. Well, and yeah. let me ask you this. I mean, I don't oh, want to left or right. I don't want you to think we're taking too easy of a thing. Should we? Uh, and I don't know, you know what kind of people you'll be asking, but should we also break it down by um, by age? You know, wondering, you know, do twenty-year-olds feel more optimistic about twenty-five-year-olds versus thirty-year-olds, or whatever the case may be? I definitely don't think age. I mean, simplicity will be an issue because I, like I said, I talked to my friends from other classes and he, the only thing he's doing is like asking a very simple question on a piece of blue paper and a piece of red paper and seeing like if that makes a difference. Okay. And you got it approved. Well, yeah, so if other people do it, I didn't want to do something too wussy and too easy. So, but if that's, if it's, if other people are doing it, that'll work. By this point, I mean, I just, I mean, we can hear back if he thinks that's a decent enough idea or not, but we'll wait for your email. Okay. I guess half an hour or so. That'll work. I'm going to let you guys go so I can get back on the horn and get hung up on again by the church headquarters. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll All right. I'll email you guys in about 30 minutes. Okay. Sounds See good. See you guys. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.